It's the Houston Astros going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, just about ready for baseball. And today's starting pitcher, Roansi Contreras. Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. And stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. The 1-1. One -one. And there's a ball. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Reynolds makes the play. One down. That exactly. The designated hitter. Now it's Alex Bregman. Bregman, who had a great career at LSU. He was the second overall pick in 2015. He wears that number on his back, number two. And Singy, he was a big Derek Jeter fan growing up. He's got it, and there's two away. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives, and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Jordan Alvarez. This guy has turned into a beast. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Nothing doing there for Houston. And now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at PNC Park. And starting in this one, Framber Valdez. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, he's not a scout's dream because of the height, an undersized pitcher, but the heart is there and knows how to work the corners of the plate, add and subtract velocity to keep the hitters off balance. Bottom of the first, now the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. The third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. That one drilled left field, sliding, and he grabs it. Well, really nice looking play right there for the out. And I could say as a former outfielder, it's nice to get down on a level where you can really see the ball into your glove. Some people think that it might be easier to stay standing upright, but I think to be bent over and unsure about exactly how low it's going to go could be difficult in the end. So nice decision by the outfielder right there. Robert Valdez had a great 2022, an all-star, and of course as well, his Astros won the World Series. And he can't come up with it, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Batting third, the right fielder, Andrew. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Ball to strike. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss as he was late. Yeah, Boog, in an ERA of under three, pitched over 200 innings, and it looks like they were easy innings for him. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. So the Buccos are kept at bay in the first inning number two from the Steel City coming up. No score on the show. Back here in Pittsburgh, here's the veteran first baseman, Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu. Here's a 1 1. Ball. Oh. 
And that's outside. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Puts it away for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Fights that one away. Still one and two. No score here in the second. Next offering is fouled back. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two down. Oh, well, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him up. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch the like that in up. tight. You just Jeremy. feel like you're crowded Jeremy. on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. And now Jeremy oh. Pena off the plate inside. Three and one now. The pitch on the ground to third and that's just foul so now three and two and there's ball four one of the things about that two out walk the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead so a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best that is if you are the offensive side of it Pena off of first with two away. And he walked him. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. That's oh. a little bit low. Martin Three Maldonado one. to bat next. And he deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. 3-2. And it goes just foul. Laboring here. About to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Martin Maldonado up to hit at the belt and fires. That one lifted to left. Joe getting an angle on it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Astros leave them loaded. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back. Bottom of the second. And now, Carlos Santana. Santana. The wind of the pitch. Just off the outside edge. That one off the mark. Ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. In the air, right field. Tucker should have it. Squeezes it, and there's one down. Batting, good. The first base, 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 base,
And now the Choi. hitter, G Man Choi. One down, base is empty. And he grounds one to the right side. And foul ball. And now the lefty spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Left hand batter waits. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's got to throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Connor Joe, the next pirate to hit. And a base hit into right. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. In there. Just beat the tag. It's a double. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And in scoring position with two away. And now it's going to be Rodolfo Castro. Ripped to short. Gets it to first. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. Pirates leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning. Here's the Astros' leadoff man, Chaz McCormick. McCormick. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for a strike three. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, low and away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Here's a one-two. On the ground to short, Castro. Tosses across the first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Good fastball now, now, now. in on the hands. So makes the move. swing a little defensive. Jordan Jammed him up right there. Alvarez. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. His first at bat was a strikeout. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on base and slugging, too. Stays alive. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Out towards right center. That's well struck. This one's got a chance. And out of here. Jordan Alvarez blasts one out. The Astros strike first. It's one nothing. He kept swinging and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Jose Abreu up to hit. Popped out to left his first time. Fly ball down the line. Joe has a beat on it. 
makes the play, and it's out number three. Astros notch a run on the solo homer. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at PNC Park, bottom of the Whoa, inning, at the plate for Pittsburgh, Mark Mathias. The pitch. Way out front for strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And here it comes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. Good, it's got good. so much spin good, on it, good. and you really don't have a lot of time good. to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swing and strikeout. Now the catcher up to hit, Jason DeLay. Swing and a miss. Counts full, three and two. In the air, right side. Tucker should have it. And makes the grab. And there are two down. The third baseman, base number 13. 13. So the batting order turns over. Now batting key Brian Hayes. The 1 1. Ground ball to the right side. The throw to first. That ends the inning. Nothing across here this half. Three innings complete. It's the Astros 1 and the Pirates nothing. Welcome back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. Here's a 2 1. To the right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. He's safe. Just barely able to beat that one out. Man, he was giving it his all getting down the line right there. Breaking ball was in a decent spot down and in, but he did a really nice job getting to it before it tied him up. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Ball outside. And that's in for a strike. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Here's the third baseman, Corey Jolts. He reached out a walk his first time, and that's ball four. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. Second, Second base is Mauricio, Mauricio Dubon. Dubon. Up next for the Astros. Good contact guy, good defender. And a foul ball, he stays alive. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Two on, one out. Good eye right there. Activity in Pittsburgh's bullpen. Vince Velasquez preparing to come on if needed. One out. 
Runners at first and second. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. All over that one right there. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. And here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. 0 for 1 so far. And a pitch. That misses the zone. 3 and 1. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next pitch in for a strike. 3 and 2 now. Ball left side could be two. Hayes to second. Ow! The double play ends the inning and might have saved the game for them. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. Back here in Pittsburgh, digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. The 1-1. Good eye right there. Two ball, one strike. And strike two. Two ball, two strikes. Got him swinging. Well, that at bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Two two down. And that skips okay. into dirt. Foul ball, and it remains a full cow. Set down on strikes. Buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three. You know, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. The wide, the kick, and the one two. And now oh, two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throws to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. They still trail 1 0. Pirates with a new arm on the mound, Vince Velasquez. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. Number 27. Chaz McCormick getting ready to hit. And a 1-1. And there's a strike. And 
and a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. He got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Up the middle, Matthias. Whips it to first. And they get Bregman for the out. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Here's some real power at the plate. You're Don Alvarez. He's already homered here in this one. Alvarez, who's from Cuba, he grew up idolizing a future teammate, Yuli Gurriel, who is 13 years his senior. Two down, nobody on. Fights it off, he'll see another. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Astros are down quietly, but they're on top, 1-0. And welcome back. And here's the first baseman, G-Man Choi. All oh, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Now a slow roller to second. In plenty of time to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the field. Number two, Connor Joe. Connor Joe, the next pirate to hit, doubled his first time up. And a pitch. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Yeah, the batter now, Rodolfo Castro, grounded out to short in his first trip. The pitch, and that's in the dirt. Two and one now. This one chopped up the middle. Over to Abreu, and that is out number two. Up next, the second baseman. Now it's the second baseman, Mark Mathias. Went down on strikes his first time through. Man at second. Out to short. Pena. On the run. Throw to first. That's the third out. So one left for Pittsburgh. They trail here. one nothing. Back here at PNC Park. Top of the sixth inning. And here is Jose Abreu. Abreu. Right-handed reliever. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Around first. Digging for two. And he's got a leadoff double. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Here's Kyle Tucker. Ball to strike. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. And it's off the wall. Run comes in from second. It's 2-0. 
Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Jeremy Pena will hit next. A strikeout and a walk. Well, these Astros putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. It's a good breaking ball there, just off the corner where you can't really do much damage, but it's close enough to where you've got to protect, and he just couldn't find a way to fight it off. Corey Jolts up next for the Astros. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Joe has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, oh, but with the way out. they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels Mauricio like there's potential for more coming. Dubon. And next to hit for Houston, Mauricio Dubon. So now one and two. One, two. To third. Fires to first on the run. Third out. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And it's two zip. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, and now the catcher well, comes up to run. him. Jason DeLay. Jason DeLay. Next one ball. misses, and yeah, that's ball two. You ball. know, these Pirates do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. The 3 1. Foul ball. You know, sometimes it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today. Up the middle. Slings to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. The bat out. The third baseman. So the Pirates' batting order turns over. Key Brian Hayes, the next Pirate to hit. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Next one in the dirt. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Three, two. Got him. And there are two outs. Well, he clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to check the swing, just went around too far, and you're hoping the umpire maybe missed it, and they bail you out. The wind of the pitch. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first, and Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. And it's even up. Yeah. 
Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. On the ground, right side. And that one handled on to first. Out. Inning over. And 1-2-3 go the Pirates. They're still down. It's 2 zip. All set for the start of the inning. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Martin Maldonado. Maldonado. And the right hander deals. Just missed. Popped up. Choi makes the grab. And there's one down. Now Pat. The center fielder. Chaz McCormick. So the Houston lineup turns over. And now the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. Here comes a pitch. And now it's even up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next pitch inside. Three and two down. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Fly ball to right. McCutcheon has it sized up. And there's two down. The bat, number two. Two outs, base is empty. Alex. And now it's Bregman. Alex Bregman. And the pitch. Ball. You're Don Alvarez, waiting for a turn at the plate. The 3 1. Ground ball scooped up. Key Brian Hayes zips it to first, and they get Bregman for the out. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Nothing doing there for Houston, but they're on top 2 0. Welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. The 2 1. Dives and he can't hang on. He decides to hold on to it, and the defense comes away with nothing. David Hensley coming into the game now as the injury replacement. Now playing third base. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. And now two and two. Out to center. McCormick has it sized up. He's got it. And there's one away. Now that the first base. G Man Choi. G Man Choi, the next pirate to hit. A little surprised we don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty lefty matchup. Next one off the plate inside. And a count two and one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Seth Martinez up and loosening in the pen. Abreu getting loose as well. The tying run at the plate. That one missed. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. 3-1 now. And it's ball four. He missed down low. 
He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Connor Joe, the next pirate to hit. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. McCutcheon at second. Choi at first. One gone. Next pitch is downstairs. Way to lay off that pitch down. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. Struck him out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. So first and second with two outs. Rodolfo Castro, the next pirate to hit. Two on, two outs. And a swing and a miss there. And another ball. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. A couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. Back here in Pittsburgh, here's the left fielder, Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez. Oh, look out here. Alvarez. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. The 1-1. One, 2-1. One. One. Right through there for a strike. Now it's filled up. Look out. Hit on the ground to the right side. Choi takes out. it to the bag, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. The first Jose Abreu. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jose Abreu. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. And that's going to roll to the wall. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the ninth. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Chase DeYoung takes over on the mound. And that's a big potential run out there in second as he comes in trying to keep the deficit where it is. For the infielders, they got to be thinking about keeping the ball from getting by them into the outfield any way they can. Man at second with one away. So next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Next pitch is outside. fly ball out at a left center field puts the squeeze on that one and there's two down it's a little drop and drive on that swing backside collapsing just a little bit trying to put the ball in the air Jeremy and stepping in for the Astros Jeremy Pena 
We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. This to center field. Drops into the glove. That is the inning. One left for Houston, but they hold a 2-0 lead. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Seth Martinez. These are the spots relievers Ladies really make a name for themselves, right. late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Here's the second baseman, Mark Mathias. The second baseman. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. This one high in the air to left center. Alvarez in position. Puts it away for the out. Up next, next by by. the catcher, catcher. Jason. Jason DeLay now at the plate. And a good eye there. Movement in the bullpen. Ryan Presley, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. And that one is lifted in the air. Tucker should have it. And he makes the catch. And there's two away. The third baseman, base number 13. 13. So digging in, Key Brian Hayes. Hey. Two outs. Pitch misses, Whoa. two and one. Kicks and fires. And downstairs. Oh, yeah. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Ryan Reynolds waits on deck. Back to work, 3-2 now. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Down in order, go the Pirates. They trail things here, 2-0. And welcome back. All Maybe set to start the ninth in this one. The now the third baseman, baseman David, David Hensley. Hensley. Ball to strike. And a swing to miss. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Swing and a miss. One and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ball. And that one missing low.
and a pitch and a pop up right side foul territory Choi pulls it down and there's two gone now back Martin, Martin. Maldonado two outs base is empty Martin Maldonado the next to hit The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Now this is in the air down the line. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. Next offering is in for a strike. Maldonado on its second with two down. The one two. Oh. And that's outside. Alex Bregman up next for the Astros. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So they can't do anything with a two out double. Two, three, four set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Astros two and the Pirates nothing. So the closer summoned from the bullpen, Ryan Presley. A chance at his first save of the year. Number 55, Ryan Presley. Brian Reynolds here. Leading up for the Pirates, the center fielder, Ryan. And he deals. High fly ball out to center field. McCormick on the run. Got it. Nice grab. One away. Up next is Pirates. The right field. Andrew, Andrew McCutcheon, the next Mark Pirate to hit. The one one. Ball. And that clips the inside corner. And now the count filled up three and two. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And that one hit to first. Abreu takes it himself. And the Pirates with only one out left. Up next to the The designated hitter. Carlos Santana, the next Pirate to hit. Next no, pitch is inside, ball. and it's two and one. And that one wrapped foul.
Choo Choo now. Yeah, that's a little high. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. 2-0 your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.